What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player of the week review. Yeah, I mean I'm a bit torn again on this one because there's some very average players in this. We've got 100 uh, coins to spin. You've obviously got a couple of spins that you can take as well. Are these really exceptional players that are going to change a dial for you? If you're a newcomer, potentially. I mean, there are a couple of good players in there. You look at Fernandez here. We're not going to spend a massive amount of time on these lads because there, there's just not that many good players here that I think are going to change the dial, right? If you are, you know, playing longer than a month. If you're new to the game, you've downloaded it and you stumble on this video, firstly, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And you will also find a lot of videos discussing a lot of hidden gems and stuff like that. I know there's a lot of newcomers joining. Um, but if you're a long-term, you know, fan uh, or watcher and, and player of eFootball, then you are going to obviously know that a lot of these players are kind of average at best, right? So this guy has got like bags and bags and bags of player skills. One touch pass, true pass and way to pass, pinpoint crossing. He's also got incisive run as his play style, double touch as a skill move, Marseille turn. But his stats just don't stack up, man, compared to standard version AMFs. I know he's on A rating, but if you take even an average AMF and train him up, you're going to get better stats than this. 71 speed, 76 acceleration, and 78 dribbling just are not good enough for an AMF. And I think that he's a skip for me. We've also got this guy from Ajax, a right back. Now, he's interesting enough. He's got blocker and interception as a right back. He can also play as a CB. Um, you know, you're not going to be playing him as a CB unless you are badly stuck because he's a bit small, but he has one touch pass. Now, I think that a good alternative for him is uh, Martinez, Lissandra Martinez from uh, Manchester United, who's an absolute monster uh, that can play CB if you're looking to get somebody very similar and he's got better stats than him. But yeah, not a bad player at all. Like if you do spin for him, um, he might be worth popping in if he's on a, a rating. He's a defensive fullback, but a lot of his stats are very, very average in my opinion. We've also got Simeone, uh, who's got 78 acceleration, uh, 73 dribbling. He's a very tall player, um, low balance, 75, not great at that, but 84 finishing. Uh, he has got standard form, but super sub is nice to have as well. So if you are looking for a super sub and you spin him, Stick him on your bench and get him on into the game, you know, from the 60th minute on or 65th minute on. Uh, Eric Garcia, one of my favorite players at the start and at the launch of eFootball 22. This guy's quite beastly as well. He doesn't have blocker. He is more of a kind of a ball playing um, center back, similar to Mark Bartra, who I think outperforms him in pretty much every stat, even though he's really cheap. And he is also uh, a standard version, which you can buy, you know, with a couple of couple of thousand GP and train him up exactly how you want him. He has got some nice stats. I will say that I do like his defensive stats and I do like the fact that he's able to play a bit of ball type possession, low pass. But that standard form is not going to make me play him. He's just not going to be dependable once his A rating is gone next week. Uh, we've also got Hakuna, uh, last seen in the Lion King. Obviously, Hakuna Matata. This guy is pretty beastly as well. He's got an unwavering form on him. He's got the A rating. Obviously, all these players do. I love that he's got track back and fighting spirit. If I'm using Hakuna, I am genuinely using him how Argentina used him in the World Cup. I'm using him as an all-round box-to-box on the wing, kind of like a monster looking to help out his um, against the other player, other team's wingers, right? So he does have a lot of good touch or a good good pass uh, skills such as uh, one touch pass, pinpoint crossing. He's also got early crosser. So you just be able to get up and down the pitch with him. He's got a really good engine on him and I think that he plays above his stats. I've played with him quite a bit with his standard card and he is a bit of a monster in my Argentina pack. We've also got Lautaro Martinez. Now I'm going to show you something lads, right? And this is what I'm talking about with these cards that have been released. Um, this guy's got a wavering form. He's got track back, so make sure you keep counter target on if you are using him or else he'll just burn up all his energy. Nice balance, nice acceleration, nice finishing, nice offensive awareness, pretty much excellent stats. He kind of plays like Romario. That's kind of how I would describe how he plays, right? Um, he's not like as good, obviously, but he is very, very, very decent and he does track up and he's probably the closest version of Romario that you will get. Uh, because of the height and because of his player skills and stuff for the price. I mean, I think his base card is like less than 200,000, which is pretty decent, I will say. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst either. Um, I think the biggest problem with this card, man, genuinely, is the fact that 
you have to train him up in a very specific way uh, and this card doesn't really kind of highlight what makes him so special right so if we were to go over to eFootball DB and even look at his standard form maxed out we have got a player that's you know pretty much tracking the same as him right so we've got 84 finishing 89 offensive awareness and 87 acceleration with 89 balance and when you look at this card here that you know the stats that really bring this up are his passing that's what raises the overall the passing and the heading right we're not going to be using him as a heading uh, player because he's only a 174 cm right so you know we're not going to need those physical attributes and i think that's where they go wrong with sometimes when they actually train up the cards it's similar obviously you know you're not going to get a better version of his card than this this was the inter milan club pack which released in august and he's an absolute monster he's better in every stat pretty much you don't have any wasted stats such as physical contact low pass you also have really good finishing you've got really amazing offensive awareness balance and acceleration all in the 90s so that's why i'm saying man you have to be careful sometimes when you look at a player and think okay well i can't get that version of the player again but what about the standard version of the player it's the same with valencia his standard card is very similar to the one that's there at the moment uh which we'll get into um here like you know i know he's on a rating and he has 92 acceleration and 90 jumping but that 90 jumping is probably going to raise up his overall from like an 88 to like a 91 and that overall is not going to come into it the heading is not going to come into it because he's such a sharp player um you know it, it sometimes on paper it looks good but i do like the fact that he has super sub obviously um he's got first time shot he's got long range shooting he has some nice stats but i think he's also a skip for me same as this guy soma or soma this guy is uh, a bit of a skip as well he does have super sub a lot of these players do have super sub but yeah i mean again for me he's just not worth it as a winger like you can buy pretty much a winger um that's going to cost you like 50 to sixty thousand, like rafa silva who's going to outperform him in every single stat that you need for a winger right uh we've also got saul saul is a good player as well he's got a wavering oh no he's standard form sorry but he has super sub as well a lot of these players have super sub he has interception as a cmf that's pretty decent one touch pass true passing double touch long range shooting and curling so not a bad option either but again look at the stats and look at where they've attributed some of the stats 80 into heading and 80 into jumping are you going to be getting onto headers and jumping consistently with Saul who you're going to be playing as a CMF that brings his overall up a lot of the stats that are upgraded here are just not going to make this card better trust me on that lads and then last but not least we have Berardi and Casper Schmeichel I mean Schmeichel 91 reflexes he's a huge unit inside and goals not a bad keeper to have at all unwavering form long throw which is all you need for the goalkeepers and low punt and also as well as that he's got 84 awareness and 85 reach not bad at all very good keeper um i would say ramsdale is probably better than him if if i had to give you an alternative to how he plays and then we've also got barardi this guy is interesting right because he doesn't really have any like amazing stats but he's got some very nice stats that link up if you are using him as an ss the problem is again is that i think this is a very weak player of the week selection because none of the players stand out like there's no player there that you're like yeah he'd be really good or he'd be a really good at upgrade on me and i think what they need to start doing with these cards man genuinely is i think they need to start doing them um like you know how ea do the game changers is it the game changers or whatever they call it where you have players that have uh you know a very unique set of skills or stats that go above and beyond and that have no real comparison to, to the standard card so for example you might have this Berardi where he has like 90 finishing 90 acceleration and then the rest of his stats are just kind of you know similar but it's like that you you know you can't really get the standard card to a similar level or a similar way of training that there's a unique way of training these player of the week cards that's just my loose uh try explanation of it because at the moment i think that the standard cards do stack up very very well to these player of the week selections so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and any feedback or suggestions or, or opinions let me know in the comments below i will talk to you in a bit peace